When I listened to the Amp Hour, episode 599, I was astonished by the project and its creator, Uri. He built a simulator for all kinds of MCUs and electronic parts. This project is so cutting edge that I cannot believe only one young guy was able to create it. And because it is useful and fun, I invite you to follow me. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. We all know the LT Spice simulator for electronic circuits. It is convenient because we can check circuits without buying all the components and without soldering. And we can iterate fast because changes are quickly done. Much quicker than with soldering for sure. And because LT Spice has built-in instruments, we have a full-fledged lab with oscilloscopes and spectrum analyzers without breaking our account. Very useful. What if I would promise you a similar simulator for our beloved Arduinos? That would be nice. And if it would include the 80 tiny 85 That would certainly add some value, because for programming, the 80 tiny has to be removed from the target circuit. But still, not really useful for most of us. And if it would be able to simulate the Pi Pico, would this be a deal? No, not for me, because most of my projects use Wi-Fi and the Internet. When I heard that this simulator also emulates the ESP32, including Wi-Fi, I was thrilled. How was he able to simulate Wi-Fi without any hardware? Is this true? Let's check it out. But wait, I did not tell you what the project is called. Its name is Wokvi and it runs in your browser. To check the internet connection, we look at a ready-made project, a Bitcoin price tracker. To get the actual Bitcoin price, we have to be able to connect to the internet. And to display it, we have to be able to simulate a display, two crucial facts for our projects. So let's look at how it works. We open the project and get three areas, the sketch, the diagram and the serial console on one screen. The diagram comprises an ESP32 development board and a small OLED display, connected with the usual four wires. The code is the same as for a normal ESP32. It connects to Wi-Fi and then to Coindesk.com to get a JSON file with the price. We need the usual libraries like wire, Wi-Fi, HTTP client and Arduino JSON for this task. But what about the network to get to Coindesk.com? The SSID is Bokwi Guest, without the password. Not precisely the credentials of my private Wi-Fi. Anyway, let's check what happens. Really, the ESP32 connects to Wi-Fi and displays the actual Bitcoin price. The simulation works without problems. Cool. Let's check if this simulator can save our hard-earned money. We all know what happens if we swap VCC and ground on an OLED display. We kill it immediately. So let's check it here. The display still works. Interesting. Even if I delete the power cables, the display still works. Nothing was destroyed, but it is also not as it should be. Maybe Uri wants to declutter the diagrams with this feature because all chips have to be connected to VCC and ground. If I swap SCL and SDA, the display does not work anymore, by the way. You also see that drawing and adjusting a schematic is easy. Let's insert a new text into the display. When we hit Start, it automatically starts compilation and we have to wait a few seconds till the changed sketch displays the new line. As usual, the compilation time depends on the size of the sketch and libraries. If we are interested in checking the I2C signal in reality, we would need an oscilloscope or better, a logic analyzer. 
Here we can add a simulated logic analyzer and connect SCL and SDA. It starts to sample the signals when we start the sketch. If finished, we can analyze the signals using PulseView, a free logic analyzer software. It's not real time, but it's still much better than nothing. Let's search for a little more complex project. Here is Simon Says, a game that runs on an ESP32 S3. Yes, it also simulates the S3. The game plays sounds and your score increases if you repeat them correctly. Let's play with it. Yes, the buttons and the LEDs work. And the loudspeaker plays the sound in real time. Incredible! I suggest listening to his interview if you are interested in how Uri does that simulation of all the machine code instructions in real time. Then you also learn how he hijacked our PC's Wi-Fi for Wokui. This project not only needs an ESP32 S3 and LEDs, it also needs 74HC 585 ICs and 7 segment displays. What else can it simulate? If we press the plus sign, we see the list. It is suitable for many projects and for sure for playing around. What if my preferred sensor is not here? Just include a function in your sketch to read the sensor as a prototype. That emulates the behavior of the sensor with a few statements. You can still simulate the rest and add the sensor code later in the Arduino IDE. The documentation is good, but it is not needed a lot because most things are easy for people using the Arduino. If you encounter severe problems, there is an active Discord channel where you can get help. And there you find such projects. The guy put much effort into his diagram and sketch. Do you want to give him a hand by shortening his setup? But also with his long code, everything works as designed. And we should not forget to try this sketch, the choke generator. I would not say every choke is good. But what about this one? Or that one? In any case, we see that Wokui can simulate bigger screens. Maybe you can help this guy format the text so it does not randomly hyphenate words. Up till now, everything is free of charge. If we want more, we can join the Wokui club. You have to join the club if you wish for private projects and, more importantly, a private Wi-Fi gateway that enables connections to servers on your private network, not just the Internet. If you are in the club, you can also vote for which functionality should be programmed next. A very customer-driven strategy. So let's quickly check out the private gateway. We have to download an .exe file and trust the programmer. As a simple example, I use the basic sketch from the PubSub library and connect the project to my private MQTT server. We do not need to enter our Wi-Fi credentials. What we guessed also works here because my PC is already connected to my home network. I use the extremely useful MQTT Explorer to check the result. Really, the simulator connects to my Mosquito on the server and the messages come through. If you do not like the Arduino style user interface, you can use Visual Studio Code and even debug your sketch there. I did not try it. Maybe you can comment if you use it. If you want to try MicroPython or CircuitPython, you can use it too. And what about the supported processors? Even the new RISC-V ESP32s are supported. They are still under development, but we see the direction of the journey. The Pi Pico and some STM32 boards are supported too. As I said before, I like the 80 tinies, but they are not easy to handle because you must take them out of the circuit for programming. And debugging is a nightmare, because serial print is unavailable. 
This is why I want to try a Blink sketch on Walkwee and then copy paste the code into the Arduino IDE to program a real 80Tiny85. Here is the example. The LED is connected via a resistor to VCC and to pin PB4. No need to consult the datasheet. Walkwee knows where the pins are. It even shows you the correct color rings on the resistor. And our Blink sketch works. By the way, here we see a big difference between Wokui and LT Spice. If we change the value of the resistor to 330 mega ohms, the LED still blinks. We all know that this is not the case in reality because the current would be too small. But what about debugging? Did I promise too much? No, we can debug the AT Tiny 85. Incredible! If we start debugging, we can set breakpoints and use single step. As usual. That is really cool, particularly if you have complex programs like this one. Look at the dimming of the LEDs, by the way. According to Uri, this was hard to achieve. I programmed a real AT Tiny with my simple program and it works. Not a real surprise with this short code. But you see the point. This was all for today. As always you find all the relevant links in the description. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. Thank you. Bye.